Hi, my name is Krista. I'm a registered nurse lactation consultant IVCLC and I just wanted to share with you guys how to use a hand pump today. So getting it from the clean holding, this right here is what it looks like, okay? So now I take all this into the patient room so the mom and dad can see me set it up, ask any questions they need to because they're going to be the ones using this at home by themselves without me. And then when I open it, once again, everything is sterile in here. If I was in a patient room, I would be wearing gloves. And then there is a book at the front of this that says how to set it up and everything if you're using it and you don't know how. Um, in here is this little piece. This little membrane is what makes the entire pump work. And then inside of the book, we have two extra ones. That's another reason why I also set it up in the patient room so I can explain that to them. If these were to get harmed, they have extra sets at home. So really, um, I don't like to use this five ounce bottle that comes in the pack because the first couple of days here in the hospital, the mom is not gonna have much milk. Her colostrum, she's really just gonna have a few drops. She may actually get more benefit from doing hand expression and breast massage here in the hospital than she would with a hand pump. So I don't use this five ounce bottle. The only way it's really good is that it has a stand in with this kit. So from clean holding, I get our pack of the smaller bottles, one ounce or two ounce bottles. I like these little smaller colostrum bottles. And then I explain to the mom that after she uses the pump, there will be four parts that will need to get washed with this particular pump. So the flange, and then we have this piece right here. This piece that just uh, pops off, this is actually two pieces in one because we have that white membrane and you can take it off, but then so we don't lose it, I always put it back on whenever I'm drying it. And then whatever size bottle we go to use. This piece right here does not need to get washed. No fluid or anything should come in contact with this. So we're gonna go ahead and just pop this piece right here into place. You just literally push it in. We put the phalange in and then we screw our bottle in place. And then we just pop that into place. And then the hand pump and the electric pump are both going to mimic how baby eats at the breast. At first baby's going to eat really fast until the letdown and then baby's going to slow down. Same thing with the hand pump, but you can also also more audibly hear it with the electric pump. So we have the fast side and then the slower side that's gonna mimic those slower sucks from baby that are not quite as rapid. And if you forget, once again, all that's written in the book that comes with the pump. And there's also a little logo right there for the letdown, okay? We do wanna make sure this fits correctly. For mom, the nipple should be going in and out freely of the flange. If the nipple is rubbing this barrel right here of the flange, then we need a bigger size flange. That's gonna cause a lot of pain and discomfort for mommy. And then same thing goes if we have too much areola coming in and out of the flange, then mommy needs a smaller size flange. So we always wanna make sure that mommy has a correct fit and that um, she's nice and comfortable while pumping. And a good thing to remember is that breastfeeding and pumping should not be painful. Mommy might have that pulling sensation at the breast, but no sharp pinching pain. And then like I did say before, it's normal um, to have a little bit more benefit from doing that hand expression, breast massage. Your body's gonna respond a little bit better initially, especially to your hands versus anything artificial. Okay, and then once again, to take this apart, does not get washed. We would collect or save whatever colostrum we have. You can draw it up in syringes, or if you have a little more than that, you can just put a nipple top on here and feed it to baby, whatever your preference is on feeding baby at that time. And then take off, wash, wash and wash. And once again, that's two pieces in one. Just wash in some warm soapy water and then you can let it air dry so it'll be good to go for the next time. All right, thank you.